Hi, Christmas is getting closer. I hope you're ready for our story tonight. It's called The Christmas Rose, and I think you can see them around if you look. Legends and stories from the earliest times told and retold tell us that long, long ago, the stars sent messages to men on earth. But as time passed, the stars became silent, for men no longer understood their language. The three wise men who traveled to Bethlehem to worship the newborn Christ child still understood a little of the language of the stars. A few privileged others also heard a little of what the stars had to say. One of these humble shepherdesses was named Joanna. How she loved to watch the movement of the stars through the long nights as she tended her sheep on a hillside near Bethlehem. She listened to the messages of the stars and she learned many things. Sometimes she heard their names, not the names known to learned men, but their real, true names, the heavenly names that star angels call each other. Now for some time, Joanna had observed something new and strange happening in the winter sky. From far away, a warm and radiant light had begun to shine. It was the light of a star which grew brighter and brighter as each night it moved closer and closer to the earth until it seemed to fill the entire sky as it hovered over the town of Bethlehem. Joanna yearned to know what was happening and asked the star to tell her. The star did not answer. As her yearning grew, she begged the star to tell her still the star was silent. Then one night, as she sat watching, she opened her heart in love and wonder and prayed with all her might. Star of wonder, star of light, radiant star that shines so bright, I pray you may, I pray you might, speak to me this wondrous night. Suddenly, a ray of light came down to Joanna with a shimmering message from the angel who lived within the star. The Son of God is born upon the earth, little Joanna. I have come to light a pathway for those who, like you, have an open heart to understand what they see and hear. Follow me, and I will lead you to the Holy Child. Joanna, her face aglow, rose to follow the star. Then tears came into her eyes. I have nothing to bring with me, she cried. The Son of God must have a gift of greeting. Oh, do not weep, little shepherdess. Take as your gift these greetings from all the stars. And at once with the message, rays of starlight streamed down from the heavens. And where they touched the cold winter earth, star-shaped blossoms sprang forth. Joyfully, Joanna gathered the blossoms and followed the star rays as they led her on to the town of Bethlehem and to a humble stable. Mary was holding the holy child in her arms as the gentle shepherdess entered. We have been waiting for you, Joanna, Mary said. Come, bring your precious flowers so that my son may remember the gift of joy of the star world while he is here on earth. And as Joanna knelt in rapture and offered the blossoms to baby Jesus, he looked at her with a radiant smile and reached out. As his fingers touched the blossoms, gold centers formed within the flowers, and the Christmas rose came into being. And it blooms each year in the cold of winter to remind us of the star gift brought by the little shepherdess nearly 2,000 years ago. That's a nice story too. I like that one. Have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow.